Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Capita Indoor Survival. This board features Capita's Resort V1 Plus Flat Kick Technology camber profile. So basically, traditional camber that mellows down into a flat section about four centimeters before the up kick in the tip and the tail. This is gonna give you all the load pop, snap, and drive of traditional camber, but with that flat section, you're gonna get a little bit better edge grip as well as a nice big sweet spot in the nose and the tail for pressing and playing around. This board's available in 150, 152, 154, 156, 158, 160, 155 wide, 158 wide, 161 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day. There was chop, slush, high winds, chunder, perfect quarter, just a good mix of everything. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This is your standard run of the mill Park Flex. Softer tips, stiffer midsection, moderate amount of torsional flex. The one thing to really note about this though is that you do get a ton of rebound out of this board. So even though you got more flex in the nose and everything, when you load it up, you feel that rebound. When it comes to stability, for the most part, it's a park board. It's stable for what it is. You get into super choppy, rutted out terrain, don't keep your knees bent, you're trying to just mob, yeah, you're probably gonna get bucked around. There's a little bit of chatter out in the tips that slightly resonates underfoot. This board pops. I mean, it pops. You can feel the rebound out of this board when you load that camber section up, and sure, you got that little flat section back there that you press into, that just gives you even more spring. You just end up popping with this board. It's not that aggressive to load up, but it has a ton of power back out of it. So what you put in, you're gonna get double out of. When it comes to jumps, small, medium, large, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be able to pop off the lip and handle the landing on anything. You wanna be laid back, still gonna pop. You load it up, you're gonna just boost. So right where that camber meets that flat section, that's the sweet spot, right? That's where you wanna be hitting for a nose butter, tail butter, it doesn't matter. And when you engage it, you're gonna feel it flex and then start to rebound. What that's telling you is you're gonna pop out of anything you do. It doesn't necessarily fight you, but it's there. You can easily engage it and pop out. If you know how to butter, you're gonna be fine. If you don't know how to butter, well, it's time to learn, especially because you're on traditional camber. When it comes to jibs, yeah, you got that sweet spot, there's that rebound, that's gonna pop off the end of the feature. It's also gonna fight you a little bit when you're in like a kinked rail or whatnot, so just understand how to manipulate your weight. When you go sideways, that camber cradles right around the feature. It doesn't clap out, it just cradles around it, and it slides smoothly. Overall, this board can jib and butter. This board has a smooth and consistent edge-to-edge -edge initiation. You can feel that power going in there. It's smooth, it stays locked in. You engage slightly outside the front foot, but all the power is continuously derived from inside back through the tail. So what that means is when you start to really carve, it's gonna be from bending your front knee inward. That's gonna give you more power. And then when you flex that camber and you disengage that front foot, you're driving that back knee into the center, getting all that power. It's gonna hit that flat section, give you a little spring out of the carve. Short, tight, quick turns, medium mellow carbs, those are its strong suit. But if you need to lay a deep trench because some family of fat skiers wandered into the park and is in the way, you can lay a Euro carve around them and not have to worry about it. This board will turn when you absolutely need it to. Who's this board for? The all around freestyle rider. Have you ever gotten on a board and just felt in tune with it and knew that you were gonna have a good time and then you didn't wanna get off of it after you rode it the whole day? That was this board to me. I don't necessarily need a true twin to ride the whole mountain. I would take this, for sure. This board was absolutely phenomenal. It's got a good side cut and the rebound out of that camber profile just helps with carving as well as popping off of things. This board is just so good. So, so good. Comparable boards, the K2 Medium, the Rome Agent, the Solomon Huck Knife. Binding recommendations, the Union Force, the Rome Katana, the Ride C6. This has been my review of the Capita Indoor Survival. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, 
Remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.